time no see. Sorry I've been so distant lately. I kind of took a break to go get married and that was a blast. The wedding turned out so amazing. I'm so grateful for everyone who put in work to this wedding and it was just beautiful. So today I need to go into Walmart and get some groceries to make a soup recipe that I'm making for dinner tonight. And I figured why not pull out my camera while I'm here and look at the Christmas decor with you guys. So I'm going to take you guys into Walmart while we go shopping for some groceries and possibly some more Christmas decor. I can't buy too much because I can't, might not be happy. <laughs> but I will take you guys along so you can see what Walmart has for decor. Let's go in. section right here is my kind of decor. I'm definitely wanting to do a rustic look with our tree this year. So this is perfect. These little antlers are so adorable. Definitely probably going to pick one or two of these up. does not have a lot of Christmas stuff out right now, at least decor wise. They have a lot of ornaments and everything. Comment down below if your Walmart's like that. I think maybe next video I'll go check Target and the Dollar Tree. Maybe have some better luck there. But for now let's go grab those groceries and then get home and start dinner. So of course the first thing we're going to do is spray our pan. That's very important when cooking any meat. So next, before the meat starts cooking fully, we're going to want to season our meat. You can use whatever you want, really. I like using cayenne, red pepper chili flakes, pepper, garlic salt, and you can use anything you like to your tasting. It's really up to you. Now this next step is really important because you saw that grease in that last clip. You're going to want to drain your meat and then rinse it. Otherwise, you're going to have an upset tummy. And now you're going to set your hamburger aside because we're going to start cutting up our potato. You're just going to need one whole potato. The rest of the potatoes are going to be canned. After you cut up the potatoes, go ahead and set them to the side. Now you're going to want to turn on your crock pot, so go ahead and plug it in and then set the crock pot to low. We're going to cook this for about 6 to 8 hours. Now we're going to start adding everything into the bowl of the crock pot. First we're going to add a whole container of tomato juice. I got this one from Walmart. But you can get it from any store of your choosing. We 
Next, just like my chili video, we're going to want to season the tomato juice with all the seasoning we used for the meat as well. Just because we want some flavor in that juice. We don't want it to be so bland. Now you're going to add the hamburger, two cans of mixed vegetables, you can get them from any store, along with a can of diced potatoes. I got all of mine from Walmart, as I stated earlier in the video. Next, we are going to add that one whole potato that we cut up earlier into the mix. We're also going to take a can of Campbell's tomato soup. It could be off-brand or Campbell's, it really doesn't matter, but this just helps thicken it up just a bit. And after adding the soup, we are going to add the tiniest amount of water just to add a little more base. Now all that you have left to do is just mix it all together. Make sure it's all mixed thoroughly so the meat's not on the bottom and it's all just combined together. Now we just hook on the lid and wait for about 6 to 8 hours ready for you to eat. Alright, we got our taste tester here. <laughs> Go ahead, try it. Was it hot? A little bit. <laughs> it was good though. Wait, so what do you think, babe? It's pretty good. Yeah? You know, other than scalding myself. It's the end of this video. I hope you like this recipe. Comment down below if you'd like to see any other recipes like this. And if you want to see more Christmas winter style videos, give this video a like. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload on Friday. See you guys later. Bye-bye. I am not a stranger to the dark. Hide away, they say, because we don't want your broken parts.